What is going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in back to the channel. We hit a thousand subs, which is amazing. Alina and I are super happy about that. Normally, like I said earlier, there was going to be a, um, I was gonna do a burnout for a thousand subs. I'm still gonna do it. But um, I don't know if you can see this. That is a ball of inner tire. I just ordered the tire, so as soon as those come in, we're gonna post a video on doing the burnout, but I can't do the burnout right now because we won't be able to get home. So as soon as those tires come in, uh, I'm gonna roast them and then go to the shop and then replace them afterwards. But in the meantime, the Miata is just about done. It's our final step, right? This is like right before the wheels go on. So only thing we really have to do is the brake calipers, throw on the rotor, go throughout and tighten everything up, which we'll do off camera. And then we could actually drive this car for the first time. The build is basically done underneath wise. So today we're doing the calipers. We're gonna paint them, make the car look amazing. This is a super easy video. Uh, I used to do this back when I was like, when I first got in the cars, I had my PT Cruiser. And I painted the calipers red and I thought it was so cool. It's super simple. I'll show you all the tools and things you're going to need for this. Say hi, Lena. Hi guys. So obviously, like you've seen in most of our videos, this wire wheel on a drill or an impact or whatever you guys have, some brake cleaner and primer, flame proof up to 2000 degrees, the 900 degrees for your uh, caliper paint. We chose a gold, it will kind of look like this, but you'll just have to see it on the car. This is actually a really cool color. It's almost like a bronze, like the um, STI's brakes back in 07, I believe it was, like the Hawkeyes. I think that'll make the car look really good. It's gonna stand out well in this area it'll kind of match this color right here on the coilover and uh, we're just going for a clean oem plus look on this build really nothing too crazy maybe later on down the line we'll get another miata and do a exoskeleton build i a couple i've been talking to a couple people about it i really want to do it we just don't have an area to chop the car up right now hopefully sometime in 2021 i'm talking too much anyways once we get a house be ready for an exoskeleton build. Anyway, so we got our caliper paint. I had to special order these two because uh, they don't make gold in like store because no one really chooses this color. I don't know why, it's a great color though. I guess we're gonna take them off right now. Let's get started. All right, so normally your brakes are gonna be on your car. These two bolts are gonna be on the backside of your spindle, which is on the backside of this. These were, I think, 14 mil, so just pop those loose and take off your caliper. Ours are already done, obviously, so the only thing we have to do is disconnect the brake line. We got a little tiny Jaeger shot cup right here, so any fluid loss, we're gonna, it's gonna go right in the cup, because this stuff will take off paint. Hopefully that's going into the cup. Most of it's in the cup, but more of it's on my hand. Yay! That okay, banjo bolt will go in there too. All right, so once you get your brake caliper loose and you want to kind of just tilt this out and drain all the fluid out, you're going to grab your wire brush and just go to town on it. So we're going to make it look like this all over the brake caliper. If you want, you could leave your brake pads in if you haven't taken them out already. Uh, it's going to block the side that you don't want paint in. So we'll leave these in for now. We'll show you the next step once we finish sanding. just finished sanding the rear. Big difference. They look pretty good so far. I'm really excited to see what they're gonna look like. All right guys, so after you sand it down as best as you can and clean it off with brake cleaner, we're leaving the inside kinda nasty because the piston's covered on one side and uh, you're not gonna see the inside of the brake. So let's go. We also taped up the bleeder valve screw. We also put paper towels where the holes for the brake line went. So we're gonna hang it up and start shooting it. Time for a second coat. It's all completely covered now. It's looking really good. 
and we'll come back to it once it's dry with the actual color. One thing to note, um, we started losing a lot, a lot of brake fluid. It just kept dripping out. We taped it up, facing up, so it doesn't just completely leak out because you don't want your master cylinder to go empty. Same with this deal. Just zip tied it real fast and stopped leaking. We lost like almost zero fluid this way. One tip for getting your finishes really nice is you tilt it upside down and you just heat this up for like a couple minutes. Once it's hot, shake it all around and uh, you get a smoother finish this way. And that looks pretty dry to me. So I think it's time to hit it with the gold paint. We'll let that sit until it tacks up and then we'll give it a heavier coat. And another 15 minutes later, it looks like it's ready. All right guys, so we shot it a few more times. This one is dry, but it's a nice subtle bronzy gold color. Now this looks really, really good. Alina just shot hers. And uh, we're gonna do the other three off camera. We'll come back tomorrow and throw it all on, right? Yeah. Right, so we'll see you guys then. And we're back in the morning. Alina. So we hit it with the primer. Looks really, really nice. This is dry now, so it's ready for the paint. This I just shot a thousand times, but it's gold. So we're gonna finish painting these up real quick. We should be done in like 30 minutes. And then we'll throw these on and I think we'll be ready to go. Excited, we're almost there. No! Did you see that bug? It just landed right on there. It's gone now. Okay, shoot. Look at her concentration. And an update while Lena's painting. The little Miata, the blue boy, it sat for so long that, look at this. Ugh. All this dirt accumulated. The pad, I don't know if you can see that, you probably can't. The pad seized up to the rotor. They're brand new brakes, like maybe a year old. So as soon as this Miata's done, then this comes in the driveway. We take out the rear helper springs just to make it a little bit lower and uh, replace the rear brakes on it. And uh, I think we're gonna paint it that color, but just paint because the wrap is starting to come off now. And then my car needs new tires, axles, alignment, and I curbed the shit out of my that wheel right there. We gotta pay for that. Yeah. All right, so the rear calipers are drying right now. We're gonna throw on the stainless steel braided lines with the front calipers and throw them on. I'll show you how to do that. You grab your caliper, and you're gonna find that hole that it originally went into. You need two washers, one on that end. Put that through, and another on this end. And then we're gonna thread that in right here. Dang, that looks good. Yes, it does. And we'll leave this loose and come follow me. You're gonna need a 10 or 12, depending on your car, or six to 10 on the old brake line. So you're gonna throw this right on. Oh, that was loose. And crack it. You guys wanna be careful. If you have nice painted parts, like down here, uh, cover it up because brake fluid will take paint off. So be careful. Once you broke that nut loose, go ahead and grab some pliers and take out your fork. That little guy. And now, you got your old brake line out. You're gonna grab your new brake line and thread it on in. Dang, that looks so good. <laughs> Well, that does look really good. That looks really good. All right, so now that we got our line all tightened up and threw our fork right back in, this is time to throw on the rotor now, right? Finally. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> good. We're running out of pumps to install. I know, remember when this pile was huge? Is that the front? GCX semi-coated disc brake rotor. We're using Raybestos. They call it Centric parts, but it's actually a Raybesto rotor. And we're using Raybesto pads as well. Always use brake cleaner on these first. I'll show you what to do. You don't want to inhale this stuff. Now, the reason why you spray these is because they come from the factory with an oil on them so they don't rust. Here's a moment of truth. They just sent us the wrong ones. Just so we can get an idea. Tim, that looks good. Okay, so 
we greased up all of the points that we need to grease, like the clips for the pads, and then the backside where the piston sits. Slapped on our pad, and this is perfect. The rest of the job is pretty damn similar. For the rear, if you have a Miata, you just have to put the e-brake cable back on. But that's the only real difference here. We're gonna finish up off camera. Uh, we also have to tighten down every single bolt by hand just to make sure that all of our work is good. And when we go on our first test drive, in the next video, we don't die. <laughs> so, we were supposed to show a brake bleed. Unfortunately, when I went to the auto store today, no one, I went to O'Reilly's, Pet Boys, Napa, and a couple other places that are local to us, and no one had the upper ball joint boot. These ball joints are made by Move, so it needs a Move boot. So I'm in contact with them right now. Unfortunately, they're closed today. It is Sunday, so Monday, hopefully they'll send one out to us and we can actually drive the car. But for now, this is where we're gonna sit. We're gonna tackle the rears right now, and we won't be able to put the other front on until that ball joint boot comes in. So for now, that's gonna be all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it if you made it this far in the vlog. I can just smell the burnt rubber and leaking coolant from the car. Maybe right. there might be a problem. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be a problem, but we're super close. We're really happy to get this car driving again. If you have any recommendations or what you want to see with this, leave it down in the comments below. Leave a big thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit the bell notification if you guys aren't already subscribed. Hit that subscribe button as well. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy.